going. This is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter. I'm an artist. I create impressionist paintings like those of uh, Van Gogh and Monet, that type of style, as you can see here in uh, Grant Cardone's portrait. I created this portrait because I was inspired by this man. Uh, the portrait is, is titled Obsessed. You know, growing up as a, as a young artist, I always, uh, I always heard people around me, family members and, and, you know, friends and, you know, the huge telling me, slow down, you're, you're, you're going too fast, you're going to hurt yourself, you're going you're gonna to get disappointed, um, all kinds of stuff, you know, you're going to, you're going to lose your interest if you do so much, you know, I, w I was an obsessed guy, you know, I, I, I painted for eight, ten hours, sometimes, you know, more straight, you know, just, Sometimes I would just lock myself in my studio and not come out for a week or two, just painting every day and just, you know, just eating a little bit of something and sleeping. And, and that's, you know, that's how I got, I'm not going to say good because, you know, good is whatever, you know, whoever thinks it's good or not. But that's how I got proficient. That's, that's how I started uh, really... Uh, opening up and understanding my craft and learning my skill. And every time I, I, I try, to, try to share my, my vision, my ideas, you know, my, the, the things that I wanted, I always heard people tell me, you know, that's not the way to do it. You, 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 you want to slow down, serve less people, this kind of thing, you know, that, you know all those, all those uh, stoppers. And it wasn't until I read 10X this book by Grant Cardone, that it just opened my eyes to to whole new way of thinking that, you know, you don't realize that you that you're born with with little think. You know, you don't realize that. You don't realize that that the people you surround yourself with and your you know your friends, family, whatever, you don't realize that, oh yeah, they mean well. They're trying to they're trying to uh, you know help you and not get hurt or whatever. But you don't realize how small your think is until until you, uh, <laughs> until you know, I guess, until you hear from someone else that tells you, you know what, you're thinking too small, man. You know, spread your wings. What are you doing? And I found that in this book called The 10X. And that's why I decided to create this portrait. It's, uh, it's a bit of a, uh, what do you call this? Like uh, honoring the men who wrote this book. I think that it's a, uh, it's a great way for me to, to, uh, to just uh, show appreciation to a change, a mindset change that you're not born with. And if, if, if you're not taught to change your mindset, to, 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 to go bigger, to go wider, if you're, not, if you're not taught that, at least in the physical realm, in the, in the, for those artists out there or whoever, whoever's listening, um, even in the spiritual, if you're not if you're not taught to just you know take it all, take as much as you can, because you're not gonna hit it either way. You're never gonna hit your your ultimate targets, and if you do, your targets were small. So, I mean, enough said. I just wanted to show you this. By the way, uh, I realized as as an artist over over 20 years painting that everybody always wants a portrait, you know, and I, and I hardly ever paint portraits. I used to paint them uh, as commissions, you know, people would ask me commissions, can you, can you commission this, can you, can you create this painting of my daughter or my family or, you know, and I, I just, I focused more on, on landscape paintings such as this one, you know, it's a marshland. I focused most on, on, on landscapes, but um, by the way, you're in my studio, as you can see. <laughs> But uh, I realized something. Everybody wants a portrait. But portraits, portraits are special, you know. And, and uh, I realized that, you know, if you really want a portrait, you have to get it. It's one of those things that, you know, it's, it's not like, oh, a landscape. Not, not to bash on, on my other work. I love painting the other work. But a portrait is so much more. It tells, I believe it tells more because it's, you're talking about us a specific human being and their accomplishments and their, their vision in a very uh, almost, uh, you know, 
not to get philosophical, but in almost a spiritual way, you're kind of you're 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 studying the figure. You know what the person, the the message of the person, somewhat. You know, if you're creating a portrait of of, 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 of a president or a CEO or whatever, you kind of have to understand the vision to to be able to portray that in the portrait. And here, I wanted to portray the portrait of obsessed. I mean, it looks like it looks like this guy's out on the hunt. The way he squinches his eyes, the way he's squinting his eyes, it's like he's a predator. He's out. He's out to get something, and 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 uh, I like that. I like that. I like that vision. I like the way this cat moves. I like the way this cat talks. He's a. Uh, he's definitely a boss, and there it is. Grand Cardone, titled Obsessed. Oil and canvas. Oil and stretch canvas. It measures 30 by 40 inches.